Today we are going to be talking about how we can add randomness to our particles and adding some random colors to your particle will get more better result to your rendering. So let's quickly get into it. So I'm going to go to my FX menu quickly. Let's take a simple meta. I'll bring this up and let's hit play. So we have a default particle system going on and I'm going to quickly add some fanciness to this by quickly adding some turbulence just so we have something to play around with and i think this looks pretty good i just wanna do one thing that is increasing the emission rate and maybe add a bit more turbulence to this so maybe like 15 and let's hit play and now there we go so let it play all right so now i think we have enough particles all right so once you're done with this now here you'll see that we have something like this and if it render, we'll see something. Well, we won't see anything. I'm gonna take a simple direction light, bring this somewhere about here. Let's do this out and take this somewhere around here. And now you see your light. I'm gonna go into the Arnold and maybe increase the exposure and make the angle different. So, this is what your particle basically looks like a simple white color. So, let's add some color into it. So, I'm gonna quickly close the tab, select this, right click. Assign new material, shader, sand surface. So I'm going to call this particle and let's make the weight to one and let's go to our hyper shade. In the hyper shade, I'm going to go into my particle right click, graph network, and this is what we want to do. We have to come to our search bar, search for color jitter, and from here, we are going to attach the color to the base color. And right now, what you see is a simple white color, so I'm just going to give some color to this color jitter maybe like a cyan and i'm also gonna play around with the let's go to face and let's quickly add some color into this and here you see that we are getting some color here so what color jitter does is basically adds a unique color to every face there is so what you can do is you can increase the gain of the color how bright saturated you want and so on you can increase the saturation minimum and maximum values and then you can play around with hue to get your desired color so just have fun with this i'm going to keep it somewhere right about here i think this is good and i'm going to change the minimum as well to somewhere about i think this looks pretty good to me let's close this and if you go to our Arnold and hit play oh, there you go so i'm going to quickly get up close and now here you can see our strikes and i think it's set to streak i don't know points let's make it to streak and then we have much smaller particles if you want you can also go to arnold and uh, you can change the render point as sphere as well if you want to render them as sphere so if you get up very close to your particles you'll start to see small spheres in your ipr here as you can see so this is pretty amazing you can add colorful particle simulation and then you can render them so have fun playing around with this particle simulation have fun adding some more colors into it. That's it for this one and I'll see you in the next video.